Hey everybody, Jacqueline here. I'm really excited about today's video because I am da -da -da -da, showing you the updates I have done to this little tabletop easel to make it a little bit more into a Peshad box that I could put on my tripod that you're sitting on right now um, when I go out and paint. So about a couple weeks ago, I did all the things to this, which I'll go into, but my husband and I for work were going to the Grand Tetons in Wyoming and going to Crested Butte in Col here in Colorado. So I was super excited to bring this along, test it out, and get to paint outdoors in these beautiful, vast landscapes with mountains. So I'm really, really excited um, to show you those clips and whatnot, but to also show you what I did with the easel here. I do have another video. It was, I think, my second video I did for my YouTube channel, and it's super short. You can watch it if you want to, but I'll go ahead and go over kind of the steps I did. Um, I had thrifted this easel for $4. It was in a bit rough shape with some paint on it. Um, it was just kind of, you know, just there. But for $4, I was like, I think I could do some magic to it. On the inside of the drawer, I took it out and I put little, um, I cut out pieces of felt to go in there so that it's a little bit softer and nicer looking. And then I knew I would do more to it later. So what I was able to do recently, a couple weeks ago, was I got some sandpaper um, and I scraped the heck out of it uh, where the paint was and my husband helped me too. We went out just outside and between like rubbing alcohol and scrubbing with the sandpaper, able to get off all the paint that was on here because um, there was tons of paint on this back part. I think it was acrylic paint is what I, I think what it was all on this little ledge here. And I took apart all of the hardware, laid out the pieces, cleaned it up, and then I gave the whole thing a good light sanding um, so that it could be ready and prepared for the stain that I was gonna do. I went to the hardware store and just got uh, like a dark mahogany-esque type color. I actually forget what color I chose. Probably should have remembered that. Anyways, I just picked a stain that I thought would be really pretty. I understand that when you uh, put it on wood, testing it out to see if it's the right color, but I wasn't super attached to what it might turn out to be. It turned out to be this nice warm goldeny brown and I'm a total fan of it. So I put it on all the pieces. Um, I did a nice thin layer. You take a rag and you wipe off all the excess and then you just let it dry. Now the can I got said it could be dry like in an hour or two, um, but I just left it out overnight um, just so it could fully like adhere and sink into the wood stainness. I don't know exactly. I let it do all those things. And the next day I put all the hardware back together. Um, I'd like to get different hardware because down here, this one's kind of a little broken on the, on the drawer part here. So in the future, I might get more, um, different hardware, but for now it's perfectly fine. Um, but then the other thing that I added is on the bottom, take that off. I ordered um, online this little nugget thingy. I'll put in the description below a link to it and it came with two of them. And then I adhered it um, with some like epoxy like type glue stuff that we had. Um, so I adhered, adhered it to the bottom, but that wasn't gonna be, I think sturdy enough. So I started with adding this plastic corrugated board that um, I had left over from, uh, cause I had that big poster board and then I cut it down for my in plain air little tiny setup. So I put this on here, but then I was like, oh, I kind of need it a bigger surface. So I used a big part of it and cut this little, this little hole. So that goes on here. Then this piece goes on here. And then the plate for the tripod that you're sitting on right now twists on. And then I can take this whole thing and put it on the tripod. And so I was like, yeah, perfect. I have this all figured out. Um, and then I didn't test it before we left. So when we were in Tetons, I put it on and then I went to go open the drawer. And then I realized, oh, I put this onto the drawer. So the drawer won't pull out this whole top piece will go backwards. So here, I'll show you. And I was like, oh, maybe that won't be like too bad of an issue to go back. 
but then it becomes like too like top heavy or back heavy or whatever um, on the tripod so so I wasn't able to use the cute little drawer insert here which is totally okay like that worked out just fine for what I did I just put all my pieces and things on here um, I had to put my water just sitting here on the ledge so my idea two ideas um, for the bottom piece I think I want to make maybe just out of plywood or some sort of thin thinner wood of something a different bottom because there's these little feet rubber pieces here so I was thinking I could maybe take those off add wood to it something like that so that all this stuff I can adhere to that because I got a second one of these so that all of this is sitting on that piece of wood and then I can pull the drawer out so that's one thing in the future I want to play around with um, and then the second thing is something to hold my water so same with my plain air like setup where I, I ended up just cutting a hole and that's where the water sat um, I want to create something that might attach to the side or something or once I do the bottom stuff I could pull the drawer out and just set the water on it or maybe also cut a hole who knows um, but for now I think I might use maybe the plastic bit and cut a hole and somehow like just attach it with clips or something on the side because I did just have to end up putting a little bit of water in my little cup and putting it on this on here and it worked for the time being but I definitely know I need to just like with the um, plain air little setup that I have when I'm not using like an easel and, and a tripod and everything I just need to you know I'm just brainstorming workshopping ideas as to how I can go about that another thing I'd like to do is also get um, a different type of tripod this is our super lightweight one we have for when we backpack and work for our photography business and so I wouldn't mind getting another tripod um, specifically for my Peshad box that I have you know tweaked and created um, from from this piece I know there are better easels and Peshad boxes like out there on the market on Etsy on actual artist websites around the world I understand that um, but this has been very satisfying for me because as you know I love thrifting I have a video all about thrifting items for your studio space uh, so I really really liked finding this for only four dollars the stain cost fourteen dollars maybe but maybe you already have stain on hand I've never stained anything before but I'm really happy with the color I have for future projects um, this has been really really fun to tweak it and kind of make it my own a little bit and to take something um, that you know is probably I'm sure you could probably buy this tabletop one out there um, for pretty cheap but again I want to like update the little clasps I want to do something with like a different handle and it's just a really really fun satisfying project for me uh, I do a lot of painting but I also like creating other things uh, so it's just really really nice to do that the main reason I wanted to even like buy this and tweak it and enhance it and update it um, is I really really want to be able to stand while I'm painting outside so I have been all year all summer um, even on our backpacking trip in Sweden just used my little kit that I just set on my lap and that's how I've been painting but to be able to stand and just like have it all nicely there and I can stretch and I can move and I can look out on the mountains that I'm painting or the trees or something like that like it's just been really really fun just the two times I've done it I'm no expert at all uh, maybe you've done it and you can give me more tips of like where you put your rag or I know actually on the tripod there's like this little hook on the bottom so maybe I could hook something on there uh, I don't know there's lots of things that I think uh, plein air artists with Peshad boxes on tripods have like a plethora of information on um, I am brand new to that part so this has been really fun and an easy way of doing it because sometimes those beautiful Peshad boxes can get pricey and in the future I totally think I'll get one of them don't know which one but for the time being this is a fantastic way for me to just you know dip my toe in a little bit of figuring out that I do actually really really enjoy trekking a bit more equipment with me um, now both places I went to in the Tetons and in Crested Butte 
uh, we're not far from the car at all. This is not a setup I have done where I've put it like in a backpack and gone really, really far. This has all been park the car, walk 100 feet or so, uh, or 200 feet, uh, not very far from the car at all. So yeah, if you have any tips about this and you want to share them with me, please, please do. I am new to this type of a setup and but not new to painting outdoors. That's been fun. Uh, it's been really, really fun all summer doing that. We're getting into fall, so I'm excited to go paint some fall colors. We're going on another little road trip for work, so I'm going to do videos and painting while I'm out and about doing that. And yeah, I think that that's kind of all I wanted to say about this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and tell me all your tips and tricks about it. Um, I love learning from you all, especially with like figuring out maybe what I can do to enhance the bottom of this so it's more sturdy on the tripod or my one video, my first video, I got so many compliments or not compliments, uh, comments about how to go about doing the water. So that would be super helpful. I have some ideas, but you know, I love a community of people to give good ideas from. So that is it. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, night, whatever it is for you right now. And I will catch you all in the next one. Cheers, guys.